I'm going to be comparing a $20 mic, $100 mic, and a $200 mic and see which one is best for you. So stay tuned. What's up guys, if you're new here, I'm Mauricio and I post videos about filmmaking, photography, tutorials, and I even put some of my edits in here. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. In this video, I'm gonna be comparing three different types of lav mics, a $20 mic, a $100 mic, and a $200 mic. We're gonna be talking about the $20 mic, which is called Pop Voice. This specific mic can be used on camera and on the phone for those of you who are just starting out. The quality is okay, but you get what you pay for. If you're gonna film and be far away from your camera, you need to buy an extension cord so that way you can use a longer focal length and create depth in your shot. Here's how it sounds. Right now, I am wearing the $20 love mic and I'm shooting with the Canon 80D. Test one, two, three, four, five. The problem with this mic is that it is actually connected to the camera so you can't really go that far and it's not really wireless. As, like, as you can see, I'll show you right now. I'm wearing the long, I connected this mic into like a long wire or cable so that way, you know, I could reach all the way over here. So there is a limit. Good thing that I have this long cable so that way I could, could be farther away from the camera. So I could probably be like a good, like, I don't know, 20 feet away. If you're planning on like being farther away from your camera, I recommend you buying this cable for your mic and for your camera. I'll put the links to all the products I'm using in the bio. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a test of me like walking around and standing. So this is a test of me standing up, walking around, and I gotta be careful with the wire that's right here. I am testing the $20 mic and I'm probably a good, a good 10 to 12 feet away from the camera. So here I am. So this is how it sounds like with the $20 mic. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Next is the $100 mic. This mic is called the Movo W Mic 50. This mic is in fact wireless. All you need to do is connect the receiver to your camera, put it on top of a DSLR, grab your transmitter, turn them on and connect it by pressing and holding the volume buttons. That will automatically connect them. Then adjust your levels from your camera and that's pretty much it. So right now I am testing the $100 mic and this is completely wireless. So what I gotta do is get the receiver which is attached to my camera on the top. And then right now I have the mic and I have to connect them together. So there is a distance that I have to be. If I'm like too far ahead, then it's gonna, dis it's gonna get disconnected. It's gonna glitch and then it's gonna disconnect. So that's the down part. I think it could go up to, I'll search it up. So the farthest it could go is 164 feet. That is the farthest it could go. And then longer than that, it's gonna glitch and it's gonna disconnect. Right now, I am wearing the $100 mic and I am shooting with the Canon 80D. Test, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so now I'm gonna stand up and then see how it sounds like. So right now I'm standing up and the good thing about this mic is that it's wireless so I don't have to worry about, you know, the wire. So I could like go as far as I want. Like I said, the farthest I could go is 164 feet. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four, five. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four, five. Last is a $200 mic. This mic is a Tascam DR10L. The Tascam is actually wireless. What I mean by that, this mic doesn't require you to connect your DSLR. There's a separate file so you can get an SD card when you purchase it. Meaning you're recording the audio from your mic separately from your DSLR. So when you're shooting, you gotta make sure you grab audio from both the camera and the mic so we can synchronize them in post. This is definitely the best quality, so check it out. Right now, I'm wearing the $200 Love mic and shooting with the Canon 80D. Test, one, two, three, four, five. So with this mic, it actually comes completely wireless. So what you get in the mic is you get a separate audio file. You get a SD card with the mic, and when you go into post on Premiere or whatever, software you're using you have to synchronize the audio and your footage you got to replace your original audio from your camera and replace it with this audio so right now i'm going to do is stand up and see how it sounds like so right now i'm testing the 200 dollar love mic and the best thing about this mic is that i could go as far as away from the camera as possible because it's separate audio files or it's separate file it's separate files so as long as um as long as the mic is still recording 
and the camera still recording you could go as far as you want you could go like 100 feet 300 feet 500 feet a thousand feet as long as your camera and mic are rolling then you're good it's much crispier cleaner and has a bit of bass in it right now i am wearing the 20 dollar love mic and i am shooting with the canon 80d right now i am wearing the 100 dollar mic and i am shooting with the canon 80d right now i'm wearing the 200 dollar love mic and shooting with the canon 80d Test one two three four five. Test one two three four five. Test one two three four five. So I'm gonna compare the actual mic itself where the audio picks up. So here's the twenty dollar mic, one hundred dollar mic, and two hundred dollar mic. They're pretty much similar. The only difference is the twenty dollar mic has this gold thing inside the mic. The one hundred dollar mic is the biggest one from all, and the two hundred dollar mic. The clip is built differently and you can remove it. Not like the other ones, you can't take it off. Next, we're gonna talk about the recorder. We're gonna compare the $100 mic and $200. Well, because the $20 mic doesn't have one. The $100 mic is bigger, but more plastic and cheap. You don't get much options and buttons, just the power and volume button. With the Tascam, it's also plastic, but it's much higher quality plastic. You get the volume, power, record, menu, arrows, and the enter button. And you can also go through your menus and change up your settings. My final thoughts, honestly, if you're just starting now, I would recommend you getting the $20 mic. It actually sounds a lot better than the $100 mic in my opinion. The $100 mic sounds a bit flat and muffled, but if you got some more cash to spend, I would go for the $200 mic. So that's pretty much it. If you want to make your footage more cinematic, I've created six LUTs for you to try out. It's only 10 bucks each and I put the link in the bio. If you learned something from this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and I'm out.